it's so funny to me like when people get offended by stuff that you say i'll be like whoo the shoe fit don't it i said what i said and i stand on what i said like i'm nice and sweet and all that but it's just certain stuff that i would never let slide like you would never do that to me don't nobody know none of my business about my personal life nothing y'all see what i allow y'all to see period that's that remove them if it's negative energy remove them get rid of them so i was supposed to get those done the same color as my car and it's really gonna set it off so just hold on walking your trap and take over over name another bitch that's called another I just bought a brand new Rover. Rover. I don't even drive no more. I got a chauffeur. Got a chauffeur. Took off, man. They asking me to slow up. Took off. Getting wiser, and my money getting older. older. And that bitch, I ain't even gonna hold it. And that bitch, and I thought that it's. Hey, Bougie Babe. This is the Barbie, and I am back with another video. If you're a return subscriber, hey, if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe and join the Bougie Crew, because it's the Bougie. Wait, or no. Wait. Hey. Anyway, so I'm on my way to the nail shop, you guys. I'm gonna do a little quick little nail vlog today. I'm already halfway there. have a quick little car chit chat with y'all um i woke up pretty early today around what time i wake up 9 30 because i usually wake up around 10 30 ish so i woke up at 9 30 because i knew i wanted to get my nails done today and i knew i had to get two wig videos done before i even got to the nail shop so i got two wigs done and so when i get back i want i have to drop my car off to the car wash and then i have to edit videos so i basically plan out my day that's how i get stuff done i try to organize my days um and everything like that hold on y'all so my appointment is at 12 30 it is 12 27 and i'm about to pull up um i haven't eaten ate nothing i'm hungry but yeah so i just wanted to do like a quick little chit chat on something like you know what i'm saying just my mama, I was like, you know what? I want to do a little car chit chat today. What should I speak about? And we both agreed on let's talk about how to learn to not get offended when someone says something. Okay, don't get offended. I mean, I understand sometimes the shoe may fit you, but everything my mama would say on the phone, she said, every action does not deserve a reaction. That's what she just told me earlier because we were kind of chopping it up about it. And that's just so true. Like every time somebody says something that you do not agree with, that you don't like, that you feel some type of way about, you don't have to speak on it. Okay. That's how that person feels. You know what I'm saying? That's how that person feels. So let them feel however they want to feel. Let them say whatever they want to say. And at the end of the day, you can either unfollow them. You can either remove them from, you know, your timeline or whatever you have them on. You can remove them or you can let them stay and you just go on with your day. You know, because let me just give you an example. When I say something like I'm young and I have I don't have no kids, so I can do what I want to do when I get ready. That's what I can do. That's how I feel about me. Generally speaking about me, you don't have to get offended because I say I don't have any kids. So I could do what I want to do. That's how I feel about me. I don't know what you can do. Whatever you can do, that's that's amazing. Amazing, it's beautiful. Cause you can do it with your kids. Amazing. They give you that extra push, that's amazing. I love it. But I don't have no kids. So when I speak on me generally, not having no kids, I can do that. You know what I'm saying? Don't get offended by that. When I say stuff like that, that's how I feel about me. Okay? Like, Y'all got to relax when people get under y'all skin about stuff that they don't even be talking about nobody. They just literally be talking about their self and how they feel about a situation. And a lot of people tend to get offended by just like a lot of stuff people post. Y'all got to stop doing it. One thing about it, nobody on the internet is going to offend me. Because if it ain't directed, it's not going to be respected. So that's just with anything. That's not just even with me. That's just with anybody. Like... If you're talking about somebody, if you feel like you have an issue with somebody about something, you know, talk to them about it. Why go in the comments and leave comments, rude, nasty comments, or, you know, rude posts and say stuff. Not that it hurts my feelings, because I don't give a fuck. But I'm just saying, some people might care. Like, why do that? Like, don't do that. Who cares? 
I can do what I want to do. I ain't got no kids. Or, you know, just me generally not having no kids, people seem to get offended by that. Like, are you okay over there? <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> Boy, that be so funny to me. It's so funny to me. Like, it's so funny to me. Like, when people get offended by stuff that you say, I be like, whoo, the shoe fit, don't it? The shoe be fitting, like, snug, okay? It be fitting. And I don't be feeling no type of way about it. I said what I said, and I stand on what I said. I'm young with no kids. I could do what I want to do when I get ready. If I want to hop from state to state, I can do that when I get ready. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to worry about none of that, okay? And if you get offended by that, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry, y'all. <laughs> y'all know how I am. Sorry, but not sorry, because I'm going to stand on everything I said. I'm going to stand on everything I said, okay? And like Mama Bougie said, she was just like, yeah, like people stuff, y'all gotta stop letting stuff people people bother y'all like on the internet. It's the internet. It's the internet. If anybody saying nothing to your face, don't worry about it. She was like, if they ain't saying it to your face, then don't worry about it. It's the internet. People gonna talk all day. They're gonna do this all day. It's the internet. People live for drama, for attention. Let them talk. If they ain't right here with it, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And don't ever nobody in your face talking stuff and you don't do nothing about it ever i'm letting all my bougie babes know that don't ever let nobody try to get in your face and talk crap and you just let it slide don't ever do that don't ever do that because the more you let people try you like that's just too close to trying you if somebody get that close to you in your face talking mess that's just doing too much i don't don't get in my face I've never had nobody get in my face and talk crazy to me, ever. Like, no, and I'm not saying it like that. I'm not saying it like, bitches know not to. I'm not saying it like that. I'm just saying ain't nobody ever did that to me. Ain't nobody disrespected me like that. A lot of people talk on the internet. They do this, this, and that. But at the end of the day, ain't nobody ever got in my face and popped nothing. Okay? Ever. That's just disrespectful. You're not finna get in my face and think you're finna talk shit. It's not happening. Ever. Like... I'm nice and sweet and all that, but it's just certain stuff that I would never let slide. Like, you would never do that to me. You would never do that to me. My mama, my mama ain't had me being a punk out here like that. <laughs> so, yeah, I just wanted to speak on it and just, oh, what's the park right there? I just wanted to speak on it and let y'all know, like, stop getting offended by what people say. Okay, because nine times out of ten, they speaking about themselves. Generally, you're not on their minds. Like you're not. Y'all stop, stop doing it. Stop getting offended by pe what people say. Like somebody could say, um, like India. This girl named India on Instagram. She made a post and said she's only had sex with like three people her entire life, and she's married or whatever now. And the third person was him. And a lot of people got offended because she was like, a lot of y'all can't repost that. A lot of people got offended. You know what I'm saying? She had posted something like, if if they didn't accomplish it, they feel like you talking down bad. They feel like you talking down on them, or they get offended if if they can't if they can't um if they didn't accomplish it. People feel like you you talking down on them. But at the end of the day, she just speaking about her accomplishment. And I didn't, at first, I didn't see it like that. But when she said that, I was like, you know what? That That's so true. People get mad about stuff that they didn't accomplish or that they couldn't do. And they try to get offended and start talking SHIT because they didn't accomplish that goal, that goal for her. You know what I'm saying? If you think about it, like, you know, most women, most women might have more than three partners. So if they got more than three partners, they mad, they hate it. I can't repost this, but what that's supposed to mean? What is that supposed to mean? You're not better than anybody because you only had three partners. You see what I'm saying? When she posted that, she got a whole bunch of backlash from that. And it's just like, damn, like y'all just mad because she did it and y'all didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? So y'all just got to stop letting social media like irritate y'all, put y'all in the space to where y'all feel like y'all got to respond to everything. Every action doesn't deserve a reaction. You know, it's some stuff that went on the other day. Um, it's some stuff that went on the other day, you know, 
with a female <laughs> that thought she could like post me on her story and i guess somebody told me she posted me on her story or whatever the case may be i don't know i don't care about a dude i don't care you know what i'm saying that's not my business i don't respond to stuff like that i'm way above i'm above that level okay i've been did that high school middle school i've been did that okay i'm grown i'm grown i'm not gonna stoop to your level because you upset about something I don't care about how you feel, sweetie. I don't care about how you feel. And you need to post me on your story. I'm here, girl. So post me on your story. <laughs> I'm coming in. And to post me on your story and feel like you really feel like you really popping some shit. That's not the case. I didn't respond because you know what I'm saying? Silence is deadly. You know what I'm saying? Silence is gonna get him every time. You don't have to respond to nobody. Let them look stupid in peace. Because I bet she ended up taking it down because she sees she wouldn't get no response from me. I'm above that. I don't do none of that. Just keep that same energy when you see me. That's all I ask. I'm not going to go back and forth with you on the internet because for what? So everybody can be in my business and see who I'm talking about and, and go see who you is and put two and two together. I don't put people in my business. I'm way too private for that. Don't nobody know none of my business about my personal life. Nothing. Y'all see what I allow y'all to see. Period. That's that. What I post, I allow y'all to see that shit, okay? But don't ever think you know anything personal about me because you don't. You don't have one up on me. Don't ever think you have one up because you don't have one up on me. Ever. And you never will because I don't share my personal business. I don't do that. So like I said, I don't respond to stuff like that. I just want you to keep that same energy when you see me. When you see me, don't look down. Don't look away. Pop your sh like you was doing on the internet. Yeah. Do that, okay? So yeah, I just want y'all to know. I'm going to go in here. I'm gonna go in here and go get my nails done. But I want y'all to know, like, don't let people offend y'all on the internet. Like, everybody gonna have their own opinion about whatever they, you know what I'm saying? Like, however they feel about something. And that's their opinion. Don't let that offend you. You know what I'm saying? Like, just remove that person. Don't keep watching them. Remove them. If it's negative energy, remove them. Get rid of them. That's what I do. If I see something that I don't like that somebody posts, I'm gonna get rid of you. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get rid of you. But nine times out of ten, I don't give a fuck, okay? Because nothing bothers me from the internet. Y'all don't bother me. Y'all don't make me feel no type of way because y'all don't know me. And if you do know me, you don't know the new me. You don't know the old me. You know what I'm saying? I've grown since middle school, high school. Y'all don't know me, okay? So, that's that. Let me go get my nails done. That's what I wanted to touch on, though. Letting y'all know that don't let people offend y'all. Because it's not like... Like, that's little stuff. That's little stuff. Don't let it bother you. I don't got no mask. I don't have no mask. I used to let stuff bother me like that, y'all. Like like I said, middle school and high school. I've been there. That. That's old. But now, I don't really care about none of that. Hey. hey. I'm good. For my good day, Yeah. Ooh. With Sarah. Sarah. Okay. And Kim. Oh, she ready? She's ready today. She ready today, Sarah. Yes. Y'all, she ready today. Where Kim at? Look at the shop, only $5, they know size. <laughs> I'm dead. Say hey, Sarah. Hey, hi, everyone. I'm at Moby Nail Tech. She on time today. Yay. Yeah, her family. I want to get, I kind of want to get like um the same thing, but the different colors. You know how they have the different, um the colorful? You think I should do colorful? Or that's <laughs> The colorful sign, the colorful designs. Oh, oh, oh. The stickers. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Colorful, colorful design. Oh, 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 I'm talking, you know what's up in sticker, colorful? Yeah. Or the powder, we make like the kai dye. Not the kai dye, right? Yeah. Like no, that. the sticker, you know, like this LB right here, the color. Oh, but all this color. Okay. That's what I'm saying. But a lot of my nails was lifting. Like this one was lifting. This one was lifting. Like a lot of them. Let me, see. Let me send. 
we do feel right yeah mm -hmm. oh, remember silence is deadly they don't like when you be silent they feel like you're scary don't let them think you're scary either because it ain't that either I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> I am dead, Sarah. She always trying to try my stuff on. <laughs> yeah, I don't want it to get dust on it, though. Oh, Maybe I should put it on this side. side baby. <laughs> okay, so I'm about to order my mom some food, and then I'll see y'all in a bit. Before. <laughs> I feel like I got nails like this before. I no, did. I have. No, not this design. Not this life song. Not this design. <laughs> not this design, baby. Every time you come in a different design, okay? Mm-hmm. Damn, why you pulling so hard? Oh, you have to do quick. They don't hurt. They just oh, like you. That one hurt, that one hurt, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't cap. You do eyelash extensions this long? No. It can't not be long, huh? Ooh, it can't. Mm -hmm. I know people that do it, though. Mm -hmm. You just don't? No. Mm -hmm. Oh, they don't bleed. Like human hair. What? Every time. Bà ăn mà bà nói chuyện với anh ấy hiến hiến nó chưa không? Nói chuyện với chị mà. Coi vậy hả? Tưởng là bác cười em tưởng nó chuyện với anh ấy là cười hiến hiến.
I'm my red lip, y'all. <laughs> I say, hey, hey, now the time your nail done. Kim, oh, yes, me? you, and check you about the time your nail done. And, and you don't come, you send me tip. <laughs> Real me tip. <laughs> No pickles, add pepper jack, and a lemonade. Chick-fil-A sauce. I gotta go get it rinsed off. I know it's gonna rain and everything, but I don't care about none of that. My paint is more, you know, more important right now. Cause I don't wanna have to go back and get this stuff redone. I don't have time for it. Like, I do need to still get my like brake calibers done. I still gotta go do that. Cause I haven't got them done yet. I was supposed to get them done a week after. Like I was supposed to get them done right at like soon. But I didn't end up getting them done because of my party and then I was going out of town. So I didn't get to get my brake calibers done. Is that what they are? Brake calibers or brake pads? Whatever. I don't know. Brake something. So I was supposed to get those done. The same color as my car. And it's really going to set it off. So just hold on. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get that. And then I need to get my seats done. My brother still haven't sent me the person to get my seats done. Because I'm going to get Barbie. I want to get Barbie in my seat. So, and then that's pretty much it. I'm not going to get too much junk on my car because I don't want to throw it off. So, you know, sometimes people be having too much junk in their car, on their car, just doing too much. So, I don't want to do the most. Y'all see my nails? Yeah. Yeah, my car be just beeping for no reason. But, any tips on managing work? Um, but, yeah, so I'm going to pull up over here and see if they can rinse my car. I don't even need y'all to do the, the most. Just rinse it off and get this bird poop off of my car. That's all I ask. Because I feel like it's messing up my pain. It's been on there since freaking what? Saturday night? Maybe you need to run. Actually, Friday. That's, I'm going to be mad. I got to take this somewhere today. Maybe. Whatever you need, I got you. Let me be your stress relief. Let me get fast to sleep. It's all complete. Yeah. I hate when dudes don't own up to what they said. They be like, that was an accident. No, it wasn't. No, it was not an accident. Quit being scared. Quit being scared. Don't be scared of me, nigga. Sarah is funny putting her feet in my video. Um, did you order um, a spicy sandwich without pickles? Mm hmm. Let me make sure I got some sauce. Can I have some Chick fil A sauce, please? Mm -hmm. 
Thank you. Two. I cannot eat Chick-fil-A without Chick-fil-A sauce. So if they would have forgot that, I would have to come back and I would have been mad. I would have been very, very mad. I wouldn't have even ate my food. That's how extra I am. Thank you. Like, I wouldn't have even ate my food. I cannot eat my Chick-fil-A sandwich without a Chick-fil-A sauce. Like, it's, it's become an addiction. Like, I have to have it. If I don't have it, I'm not going to eat it. I mean, my mama, she forgot to give me some Chick-fil-A sauce. So I had to drive to Chick-fil-A and go get some, y'all. I had to. I cannot eat my sandwich without no sauce. And I don't want no ketchup either. I want some sauce. I don't even like ketchup like that. I'm a ranch girl. I like ranch. But um, Chick-fil-A ranch, I don't really, I don't like that ranch. I like um, like homemade ranch. Like when you go to restaurants, they ranch be the best. Like Texas Roadhouse got the best ranch. Wingstop got the best ranch. Who else got the best ranch? Roadhouse, Wingstop. It's one more place and I love that ranch. Wingstop got the best ranch though. Like top tier. Like I love the way they ranch taste. Um, I always get Chick-fil-A after I get my nails done. Have y'all noticed? My real bougie baby, no. <laughs> Either after or before. Because I don't, hold Cause y'all be crying when people talk with their mouth open. When this is my shit anyway. Y'all are watching mukbang all day though. But anyway. I forgot what I said. Hold on, let me see what I was saying. <laughs> yep, I forgot what I was saying, y'all. Let me bust this view. I forgot what I was saying. Dang, am I getting old like that? So I don't know what I was about to say. They gonna be like, girl, what is you pulling up for? Help on tick. They out here bored them up. Let me ask them, can they wash off my car? I don't need a full wash though. Where I pull up at is my thing. Exterior wash, full service wash, exterior exterior wash only. That's what I need. But I'm not trying to go through no fucking. Oh, sorry, y'all. Excuse my mouth. I have a question. I'm trying to get my car, like this bird poop off my car, but I can't go through that machine. So y'all. No, we don't do my hand wash. Y'all don't do hand wash here. Okay. That's all I wanted to know. Thank you. Okay. Huh? Home Depot? Home Depot, you go on that line, you take a left, uh, after you pass the, the highway, uh -huh. it's gonna be on the left hand side of Home Depot, across street, that's another car wash, it's called Easy Shine. Easy Shine, okay, yeah. I'm gonna Same put it in my, off. okay, thank you. Okay. We're gonna go eat. We're gonna shine, y'all. Hey, y'all don't do hand wash like. Is y'all really that lazy? Oh, I gotta open my food because I ain't even bit my sandwich yet. Hold on, y'all. Let's put it. Let's put it in the car. Let's figure it out. Cause I actually don't want to go all the way to Las Colinas. I don't feel like it. I gotta go handle this. Y'all, so I came to Easy Wash. Every time I pull up to a car wash, they always touch my car like, they be like. <laughs> but yeah, so I came to the Easy Wash Shine, whatever this place called, 
and they do hand wash and he was like yeah starting at 50 bucks and i'm like okay that's fine cool give me in i said well how long is it gonna take you talking about an hour and a half i bet i don't sit there for an hour and a half i got stuff to do this car can kiss my butt right now honestly i'm gonna try one more place in dallas and after that i'm gonna just have to wait because I'm not doing this. I'm not finna do this. So I'm gonna have to, um, yeah, he was like, or you could pay extra. Basically saying, he was like, it's two hundred, a hundred dollar ones over there. I guess because people paying a hundred dollars to skip the line or whatever. I'm not finna do that. Like, that's just dry and it's finna rain. You know, like, I just needed like a quick rinse. I would've paid fifty dollars for it. Don't care. Get this out of my car. But a hundred dollars? No. And it's finna rain. You crazy. So I'm finna find this man that I went to one time and see what he talking about. I'll keep y'all updated okay so i made it home i didn't find anybody to wash my car unfortunately so i'm about to just go get i'm about to do it myself so i'm about to go in the garage i'm gonna get a bowl of hot water and soap and a towel and i'm throwing away afterwards of course but i'm going to go wipe it off of my hood because it's like a lot it's like four splatters and that does not need to stay on there any longer because I don't want my paint to mess up on my car. So I'm about to go handle that. But before I do that, I'm gonna end the video. So I'm gonna show y'all my nails. And then we're gonna end it there. So, look at that. A set, nothing less than. Period, Sarah. She gonna always do what needs to be done. And then I got my toes. You know how I always get them. White with chrome. Ooh, look at my freaking sandals, slides, they just out of there, but anyway, so cute. I'm about to clean up, oh my god, this is just so pretty, I love it. Alright, so yeah, I'm about to go wipe that stuff off my car, and I'm going to come back and wash dishes, and finish washing um, clothes, and my blankets, and stuff like that, and probably edit some videos if I have time, it's my friend's. My homeboy, it's his birthday today. Well, his birthday's tomorrow, but he's doing his stuff today. I don't, I'm so tired. I don't want to do nothing, y'all. But he had like a dinner thing. And then after like the club, I don't really want to go. I might not go to the club, but I'm definitely going to go to dinner because he always comes to my stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and go to his. And then, yeah. So anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh, I'm sad with Sarah said. She was like, I told her I was moving to Atlanta today. And she was like, oh, are you going to be coming back to get a petty? And are you, are you going to come back to get your nails done in a petty? I said, Sarah, now you know I'm not going to come back. She, she wants me to come once a month to come get my nails done in a petty. I said, girl, you're crazy. I'm going to come back when I visit my mom. And I'm here for like a week. Then I'll come to you. But other than that, Sarah, let's be realistic here. <laughs> But yeah, so anyways, yeah, see you in the next video.